Okay, ah, one more thing. I want to show you how Vietnamese people we cheers. Một, hai, ba, and yo. Một, hai, ba, yo. Ready? I'm ready. Okay. Một, hai, ba, yo. Hey, what's up? It's Stevie Hong. It's day one in Ho Chi Minh City, my first time in Vietnam, and I'm looking to try a ton of Vietnamese street food. My mission is to find the best bowl of pho I've ever had. I want to find the best banh mi I've ever had. Maybe even meet a nice Vietnamese girl, take her back to the UK, and settle down. I'm only joking. I probably don't have enough time for that. I'm just super excited to explore and experience this wonderful city. I also want to write a song while I'm here in Vietnam, so I'm hoping I can find the inspiration. I'm here for seven days by myself. It's going to be absolutely amazing. I just can't wait. I literally just touched down in Ho Chi Minh City and decided my first meal would be a hot, steaming bowl of pho. Now it's not my favorite Vietnamese dish, but I'm curious just how much better can it actually be in Vietnam? Right, so this looks like your typical bowl of pho. You've got the beef tendon, beef balls, onions, delicious looking rice noodles at the bottom. It smells amazing. That broth is so, so flavorful. I'm just gonna put a few more herbs and uh, some of the Vietnamese coriander mint in there. Give that a good mix. Okay, my first bowl of pho in Saigon. Wow. What makes this pho stand out from all the others I've had is undoubtedly this amazing, amazing broth. I don't know what they put in this. Apologies potion, magic dust, whatever it is, it just tastes so, so flavorful. You know, there's an old Chinese saying, which basically means a smile will gain you 10 more years of life. Well, I'm tasting and I'm smiling. I've come to the dreaded realization, once I leave Saigon next week, I won't be able to have this again. And that makes me sad. Hands down, the best bowl of fur I've ever had in my life. And it's not even close. Next up, I'll be visiting Banco Market, one of the oldest local markets in Ho Chi Minh. You know, just walking around this amazing, bustling city, I'm really starting to feel the Vietnamese culture, the wonderful, warm history in this market. And it really reminds me of this old Vietnamese song that my mum used to sing to me when I was just a baby. Một hai đẹp lắm mỗi rồi Anh gom đẹp rau rau đậm Ôi rồi đẹp lắm rau đậm I'm only joking. I just made that up. Now it's no secret that I'm a massive, massive coffee fan. And right now, I'm sitting in the oldest coffee shop in all of Vietnam. It's been here for 84 years and it's run by three sisters. They never married, they never had children, and they devoted their whole lives to this coffee shop. 84 years, that's a lot of history. Man, I have to put a little respect on this coffee shop. You get me, blood? This is my kind of coffee right here. It's strong, it's sweet, it's rich. Just like it says on my Tinder profile. This is the kind of coffee I can easily have every morning while I'm here in Saigon. I just love it. My next stop takes me to the famous Ban Mi Hun Hua, widely regarded as the best Vietnamese baguette shop in all of Ho Chi Minh. 
a perfect opportunity to practice my Vietnamese. Cha oi muot o ban mi. Okay. Okay. My first ever proper ban mi sandwich, and what better place to have it than right here in Saigon? I might have to unhinge my jaw to take a bite out of this thing. Oh, that's delicious. Okay, what I love about this sandwich is there's so much stuff going on. You've got the crispiness from the baguette, which is still lovely and warm. The freshness from the pickled vegetables, the saltiness from the pate, and then the cold cuts. It just all comes together. Delicious and refreshing bite. Up until now, I've never had a banh mi sandwich. And the reason is I don't usually eat bread on my diet. But you know what? I would happily put my six pack in jeopardy for one of these bad boys. Totally worth it. Two words, goodbye six pack. You know, we've had some good times. You've served me well, but I've got to follow my heart and do what makes me happy. This is the best sandwich I've ever had, 100%. Now I love a bargain, so Ben Tran Market sounded right up my street. I was looking for some fresh local fruit and was ready to haggle. But with my limited Vietnamese, I was no match for the wily old vendor. Chị ơi, bao nhiêu tiền một ký? Một ký này tám mươi ngàn. À, cái này cái này ngon không? Ngon, chín chín ngàn mà anh. Thử là thôi mua nha. À. Nghe là anh nói đi theo một cái giá không có ai bán được đâu. Ừ, ngon á, ngon á, ok Mấy ký? Mấy ký Just got 1kg of rambuton I think I got a bit overcharged but it's ok Because I'm on the holiday These are really really sweet, really in season I think uh, I could have got it a bit cheaper outside the market But you know, it's all good Today I'll be setting off to the Mekong Delta River It's the 12th longest river in the world And the 3rd longest in Asia It's also a two and a half hour drive from the city. I think I'm going to need one last trip to the toilet. Now usually the Mekong Delta is a group tour, but I decided to book my own personal tour because, well, I've had a blinding year. I'm not short of a few bob and, you know, I just love the VIP treatment. This is my lovely tour guide, Tian. She will be guiding me around the Delta today. I think it's about another hour and a half until we get there. I think I'm going to take a little nap. As I sailed across the Mekong Delta, I suddenly had a newfound respect for the simple life. One of these days, I'm just going to come out here and live on the river on one of these boats. Imagine that. No bills, no stress, no worries. Just the simple life. Give me a fishing rod, a bamboo hat, and a pair of slippers, and I'll be okay with that. I mean, look at that old man over there. That could be me in 20 years time. Oh, look at that dog. I love dogs, especially with rice. I'm only joking. I didn't mean that.
reaching the end of our destination, I noticed a funny looking plant. It was a sea coconut. And the kind boat lady went out of her way to pick one for me, just so I could taste it. It was an amazing gesture and I was so grateful for her kindness. One thing I've noticed about the locals is how incredibly kind and welcoming they are. And this elderly lady in particular took a liking to me. Không cần thói, không cần thói. À. Ok, ok. okay. À. Wow, what a nice lady. She asked me if I was married. I told her no. And she said, well, when you do marry and you have a son, please give him this. How cute is that? Looking back over my Mekong Delta experience, this was definitely my favorite day in Vietnam, and I'll remember it for the rest of my life. It really opened my eyes and made me realize what's important. Not money, fame, and material wealth, but family and being with the ones I love back home. Today, I'll be dining at one of the most luxurious buffets in all of Asia, the La Brasier Nico Hotel Seafood Dinner Buffet. I've been starving myself all day. I'm all dressed up, looking good. And check this out. You guys ain't ready for this. Today, I'll be rocking the two Rolexes. Let's go. I got the money, girls, cars and clothes. That's the, that's the way true players roll. I got the money, girls, boats and hoes. Now I'm no stranger to buffets, but the selection here was extensive. I'm talking lobsters, oysters, crabs, fresh pasta, cold cuts, fish, more lobsters, and a dessert section worthy of Willy Wonka himself. So usually my strategy at buffets is to bring everything to the table at the beginning and then take a bite out of each item and throw it away if I don't like it. It's unlimited lobster here, so I've ordered about I think four different lobsters in different styles. This one is the cheese lobster. Mm. That is so fresh. It tastes like it just come out of the ocean. Usually I don't agree with putting cheese on lobster, but hey, this is tasting so good to me right now. This is the garlic butter lobster. Mm. This is where I make all my money back. This is the lobster ravioli. Oh wow. You know sometimes you go to a buffet and you find an item that wouldn't be out of place in a Michelin star restaurant. This is that dish. Wow, look at this lovely beef. Mm. You know, I never got the fuss about mad cow disease. I've been eating beef all my life. It's never affected me. Okay, let's test out this lobster bisque. Ah, lobster bisque. Tastes like lobster piss. That is vile. Let's move on to round three. I think I'm gonna just order some more lobsters. Oh, can I have my, uh, can I have my some fork, please? And taking away my weapons. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> Oi, man, I have to bring the man them through to try this still. You get me, blood. You know, if I get diarrhea tomorrow, it will totally be worth it. Wow, I am stuffed. 
but it's time to switch to my other stomach for the dessert round. Wow, where should I start? I'm sport for choice. It's like some kind of matcha cake. Ooh, really, really good, strong matcha flavor, which I love. This could be either lemon or mango. I'm hoping it's mango. Yeah. Ooh, O-M-G, that is fire. Oh, that's coffee and orange. The two worst things you can put in the dessert. Now this one, surely you can't go wrong. It looks like coconut. Yep, that is awesome. Although I can still taste the coffee from the previous dessert. That could be the best thing I've had so far. Oh. This is a, a bubble tea that I made myself. I don't think I put enough sugar in it. I have no idea what this is. What the fuck is that? Oh man, what's this? Ooh. 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 I don't know what it is, but it's making a lot of sense to me right now. So there you have it, the Nikon Hotel Le Brasier Seafood Buffet. I've got to say, the lobsters were amazing and the desserts were good as well, but the rest of it, I'm not so sure. Would I come back? Who knows? Now, a lot has been made of crossing the road in Vietnam, and I've got to say, I'm finding it really, really challenging. So what you're meant to do is walk across really slowly and the motorbikes and the cars are meant to go around you. That doesn't fill me with a lot of confidence. I can just see the headlines now. Handsome Chinese man killed by motorcycle crossing the road in Saigon. Okay, here we go. I'm just gonna wait for an opening. Okay, that's something that I'm not going to get used to. So this is the first time I'm trying snails, so I'm a little bit nervous, but you know the old Chinese saying, the best time to plant a tree is 20 years ago, the second best time is now. This is revenge for all the slime you left in my garden. It's quite tough, a bit like squid, but a bit tougher. It's a bit like chewing on my mum's old jelly flip-flop. Dip it in the chilli sauce. Oh, the sauce definitely improves the flavour. The seasoning is very good, but then that gaminess of the snail comes in through at the end. It's not unpleasant, but it's not really my favourite. Uh, yeah, so you win some, you lose some. I think it's something you really have to get used to. The locals seem to love it, so I'm gonna give it another try. Maybe it will grow on me. Well, you can't come to Vietnam and not have snails, right? I've done it and I'm glad I've tried it. So this next dish is one that I've been looking forward to the most. It's actually one of my favorites. It's a bang kun. It's like a steamed rice roll. My mum makes this a lot for me at home, so I'm really familiar with this dish. I'm just gonna add some of this fish sauce. really delicate, slightly gelatinous from the rice paper roll and then you've got the minced pork inside, a bit chewy and you've got the earthiness from the Chinese mushrooms there. It's so soft, I don't even have to chew it, it just breaks apart in my mouth. Let's try some with the jaat. Mm. Oh yeah, that is sublime. This is an amazing fish sauce as well. In fact, this is so good, if I had a bucket of this, I'll stick my head in it. You know, when I'm old and I've lost all my teeth, this is the kind of food I want to be eating. It just slides down the pipe like a duckums on a cold winter morning. Pure comfort food. Every country I travel to around the world, I try my best to write a song. And after spending a few days in Vietnam, I was inspired to write this song. 
I'm in love. I know that I love her, but I won't say. I know that I felt it from the first day. I've gotta hold it back. Don't wanna move too fast. I won't say that I'm in love. I know when I kiss her, it feels so right. I know she's the one looking in her eyes. It's written on my face. It's too early to say. I'll hold it back. No, I won't say that I'm in love. Next up, I'm trying gurm tam. Broken rice with grilled pork chop, a Saigonese dish which was popular among poor rice farmers in the early days. It's basically a very simple dish: a fried egg, pork chop, and some broken rice. It's not going to have Gordon Ramsay quaking in his boots, but you know sometimes the simple dishes are the best dishes. Fish sauce makes everything taste better, in my opinion. Cut into the egg. Oh wow! I mean, if that doesn't turn you on, there must be something wrong with you. I'm gonna try and construct a bite with everything in it. So let's get some of that rice, some of the pork chop, pickled vegetables, and some of this meatloaf. Put it all together. That's the money bite right there. Mmm. The amount of flavour packed into that pork chop is absolutely amazing. It's got such a rich, smoky, sweet flavour, and then the fish sauce adds the acidity. This is my kind of food: simple home cooking, made with love. Give me this: a can of Diet Coke, a pack of hobnobs, and match of the day, and I'm a happy man. You know, I need to find me a girlfriend to cook stuff like this for me. It doesn't matter how old she is, what she looks like. If she can make this for me, that's the key to my heart, right there. Absolutely amazing. I love it. So my time in Vietnam was coming to an end. And it was my last night. The drinks were flowing, and what better way to say goodbye than with a drunken rendition of the Backstreet Boys with my tour guide, Jackie? You are my fire, the one desire. Believe when I say I want it that way. Tell me why ain't nothing but a heartache. Tell me why ain't nothing but a mistake. Tell me why I never wanna hear you say I want it that way. 'Cause I want it that way. Looking back. I had such an amazing time in Vietnam and was really sad to leave. I have fallen head over heels in love with the city, and I just can't wait to come back and have ban mi again. Một hai đẹp lắm môi rồi, anh gấm đẹp sâu sâu đắm. Ôi rồi đẹp lắm sâu. Goodbye, Vietnam. See you again soon. Bye bye.